everybody, it's Vervain. Welcome to my channel. I thought we'd do a quick update today and also a little happy mail unboxing because I've gotten some love mail from you guys and I'm very, very excited about it and I feel like I wanted to open it with you and I want to start by saying like thank you so much to those of you who've sent me these things. I have a package from Anita or a, a letter from Anita and I have a package from Terry and I'm super super excited about these. And then I also have a little thing that um, Abigail brought me by. It's not mail but I kind of wanted to open it in this video. So we're gonna do that um, and I'm gonna start with this letter from Anita because that's what's on top. So I got my trusty mermaid knife. We're cutting it open. And I know she sent, she, she did this drawing that I saw. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Look at this. It's Vervain and the roses. It's a teacup with a rose in it and it's got a bunch of Vervain in the background and it makes me so happy. And I'm going to put this on the wall where I'm going to put I really want to figure this out. I don't know. I, I'm gonna, I may just have to redo this whole wall and make it what I'm thinking because I have this dream of creating a wall that's like all things that like you guys have sent me or that like my sisters have given me or whatever. So like I want to put my my uncut sheets of the ethereal visions and like any letters from you and like the letter that Abigail wrote me in runes and this drawing and like Oh, I've gotten like all these little notes from you guys I'm just there's just all sorts of things and like the Queen of Roses that came in my you still don't even know about that see I got so I have so many videos that like need to make it out to you anyhow I just like this I I want to have a space like a wall space devoted to all these things that you guys have sent me so that I can have like you know like family portrait like a it's like a like, I want to be able to look up at the wall and see, like, the evidence of my community here and then also have that wall, and I don't, like, I'm gesturing towards this wall because this is the wall that's behind me right now, but I don't know really where I want to do this. Um, but, ha and then it could be, like, my filming background most of the time, and so then it's like, you guys are in the videos too, because I love you. It's so cute. This is so cute. Thank you so much, Anita, for sending me this. I It just like filled me with joy to see this in your feed and I'm just honored beyond belief that you would actually send it to me all the way from the UK. It's just, it's ridiculous. Oh my God. Okay, so I haven't opened this yet. It's got a dragonfly stamp on it, but it says leopard skin jasper, I believe stone is. So I'm assuming there's, there's a little stone. There's a little stone in it. Oh gosh. I think I think that is leopard skin jasper. It's definitely some kind of jasper. That's beautiful. I actually don't have any leopard skin jasper as crazy as that is. Like I have so much jasper. I have so much ocean jasper, but this is my first piece of leopard skin jasper. Thank you, Anita. That's so exciting. And then we got the letter. And it's got teacups on it teacups oh and a little art print that's so cute wow wait did you do this one too because this is signed Renita which is her name on YouTube thank you that's going on my wall too oh my god I'm gonna read this and if it gets too personal I'll cut it out but I'm, I'm gonna read it Hello, Vervain. I love doodling and creating art. Even if they're not brilliant, I find it a lovely way to express my creative side. And I just felt inspired by your name and love of tea to do a doodle for you. I'm glad you allowed me to send it. I've also included an old Venus of Willendorf that I did ages ago. As you can see, my name is Anita, and I'm quite fond of Norse things, and I adore the runes. I have a coyote bone rune set, so years ago I combined the two and came up with Runita. I used to do a lot of YouTubes, but most of them I deleted now. I think mainly because some were a little embarrassing when I got with my new partner two years ago, but he's seen the ones I left up and some are quite funny. I saw the rune one that you sent me and I thought it was funny. I enjoyed it. I'll link it down below actually if that's okay with you. Um, 
I love watching your Instagram stories and YouTubes. You just appeared on my feed one day. Awesome. Well, I'd love it if you wrote back, then I can tell you more about myself. Hope you like the doodles. Would love a shout out from you. Oh, okay, then I'll definitely leave this in here. Enjoy your day, and may the goddess send you beautiful blessings, Anita. Thank you so much. Also, can I just say, you have the prettiest handwriting. Like, just somebody tell her she has the prettiest handwriting, because you do. And I just love the teacups. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's, that's like way more exciting than I thought. I, I don't know, man. I just... I feel so loved. I feel so loved, and I feel so, like, a part of a community that I, as much as I've been talking about it and like talking about believing that having a community here based in internet space, but like a real community with real people who actually like connect with each other, like as much as I talked about believing in that and did things to believe in it, like, you know, I'd never seen it. I, I, I did, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I actually did believe in it. I mean, I did believe in it insofar as believing is acting based on pers like is, is ha how you act reflects what you believe and so like obviously I've been working very hard to create a space and a conversation and a d to create a space for dialogue um, that is this community um, and so because I've been acting in that way you can say I believed in it um, but I'm still surprised and I'm still, I just, I feel so blessed and I feel so fortunate and so lucky and um, I'm gonna go right ahead and open this package from Terry and I know that, well, I'll just open it. She said she was sending me um, a, oh, it's, it's Lotus. I assume, because that's a lotus pot. Sorry, I'm just looking at this stamp on the package now. Um, but she told me that she was going to send me a card stand for, like, tarot and oracle cards, because we read on Morning Ritual, and we're always having to hold up um, the card, and, like, Usually it's not a problem, but sometimes it's like, oh, where do I put the card? I have to do the things. And oh, this is a, you wrapped this very securely, Terry. <laughs> ah, I don't want to kill myself with my trusty mermaid knife. Woo, okay. Hopefully I didn't harm anything in the package. Um, What is that? Oh my gosh. She said there were herbs. She told me. She messaged me and told me what they were. And I'll have to put it in the um, captions down here because, because I don't know, but I know that she told me. But they smell divine. Oh, and you know, I think we're going to have a fire soon, and I'll have to throw these in. Oh, that'll be wonderful. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Terry. Look how. Smell them. Guys, can you smell them through the video? Smell them through the YouTube. Smell the plants through the YouTube. Try harder. You're not smelling hard enough. Okay, I'm sorry. And then we got a little witch. Oh, and it says... Enjoy Vervain. Thank you for the blessings of you, Terry. Thank you for the blessings of you, Terry. That's really sweet. Thank you. And, uh, I love the, oh, you put the glitter on the jack o' lantern and the hat. This just makes me happy. I love witches. That's going, see that? This is all these things, they gotta go on the walls. They gotta go on the wall. Oh my god. Oh my god. What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? I'm very, very serious question here. Wow. 
Wild Omen Black Sage Raw Chocolate. Holy shit, that sounds good. Wild Omen is a weaving of gifts from the earth. Dark chocolate infused with wild California black sage and sweetened with wildflower honey, tempered in the old way by hand on stone. Wow. Organic stone ground cacao, wildflower honey, cacao butter, wild black sage. Utah sea salt. Jeez. Batch house honey. Wow. 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 That's really cool. And this, I guess, is the card stand. Wow. Okay. This is, <laughs> this is so exciting. We're going to put the, we're going to put the witch in it. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. It'll go this way, I guess. Even better. And then it's got, or maybe it just likes to go either way. <laughs> and then it's got these little spots for crystals in it, which will put the leopard skin, Jasper, in the middle one. And then the other ones will have to wait to be filled some of the time. We can put a fluorite in it. <laughs> we got a big fluorite and a little leopard skin Jasper and a witch. Thank you so much, Terry. We're definitely going to use this on Morning Ritual. This is very exciting. Um, it's like I have a third hand now. <laughs> so also, I'm sorry about canceling Morning Ritual three days in a row. I thought I was better than this. I thought I was better than having to cancel it three days in a row, but um, apparently I'm not. Um, oh, what is this? I like, uh, this one, I, I everything she told me she was sending me, I've already opened it, so now I'm like, what is this? You guys are spo- <gasps> You guys are spo- Spoiling me. Oh my god. There's a purple candle. And... Palo Santo. And... Sage. And lavender. Oh my god. Smell these, guys. Smell them. Mm. Mm. Oh, I don't even know what I want to use these for. Oh, they just... I just want to have them and smell them. Oh my gosh! Wow, I feel so loved. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Terry. I... I just don't know what to say. Um, I just, I want to light, I want to light this for all of us. Give me a second. Yes, we're gonna use a pussy lighter. Am I allowed to show this on YouTube? It's my pussy lighter. <sighs> okay, so I, we're gonna do this improperly in my hand here right now because I just want to say thank you for like, I mean, yes, thank you for sending me these things, but more than that, thank you, all of you, for investing in this community and in these connections and these relationships with your time, your energy, your eyeballs, your ears, um, your heart, your soul, your magic. Like, thank you for showing up to this channel with your open heart and your open ears and your open mind and like thank you for showing up ready for conversation and i say on my channel i'm absolutely including morning ritual and my instagram as well for those of you who don't follow me on instagram like honestly i hate to say it here on youtube but like most of the really good stuff happens over there because that's where it happens like live in the moment and if you're not following me on Instagram, you should be because we do morning ritual almost every single morning except for today, yesterday, and the day before that. <laughs> um, and that's just where we pull cards, which is why we have this card stand now. 
and um, we kind of talk about what they might mean for us today, and we talk about, you know, all sorts of things. You can find some back episodes of Morning Ritual or, like, edited episodes of it on um, my channel, but not very many of them, and if you follow me on Instagram, we get a new one almost every single day. Um, so you should definitely tune in for that, and if you tune in live, then you get to be a part of the conversation, and that's really one of the things that I'm just the most grateful for is how present you guys are in those conversations with me in the mornings because I'm just gonna stop rambling. I'm just gonna stop rambling and light this candle for you guys and for me, all of us, this community, this circle, this rose garden, because I love you and I'm grateful for you and I wanna share this moment with you. share this candle with you and I, I feel like anytime you guys like give to me I want to find ways to give that back and I guess I want to I want to burn this for a moment um holding the space and the intention for all of those who need the lights that we shine to be drawn to this flame and to be and to feel welcomed within the light of the flame and all those of us who have light to shine and to share, which is absolutely 100% all of us. Um, you know, we all have light and beauty to shine and share. And I want to hold the space for us to, ooh, <laughs> to remember that. And to, to stand strong in the value of what we offer to our communities. And to know that we are each as individuals of insurmountable, irreplaceable, indescribable value. And I think I will continue to burn this candle for this same purpose later. Um, for now, we'll say somewhat of me. <clears throat> Thank you for being here for that. Thank you, Terry, for providing the candle for that. <laughs> Look at those little candle drippings. I love candle drippings. I used to love picking candle drippings off of candles. And my mom, this is how you know my mom is like actually a Halloween nerd. She would get so mad at me for picking the candle drippings off of the candles. She'd be like, that's the prettiest part. It like, it looks beautiful half dripped like that. You're ruining it. And like here I thought I was all like, you know, a little five year old me like cleaning up the candles, right? She's like, but it's so much prettier with the drips on it. And she's right, of course. Like, the candles are much prettier with the drips on them on the dining room table or whatever. But I just, I got so much joy out of just carefully removing all the dripped wax drippings from the candles. Okay. Um, the last thing that I wanted to open on this video is kind of silly and it's not a male thing 
but it's kind of a manifestation success story because um, Abigail was over here, or the angel Abigail, if you watch my morning rituals, you know who she is. Um, I don't actually know if she's been in a video yet. Well, she's been in some of my morning ritual back episode videos. Um, she was in the first morning ritual highlights video. Anyhow, um, Earth Angel Abigail was over and we were playing with makeup, playing dress up like we do, and she had these super metallic liquid eyeshadows and I was like, tell me where you got those and how much you paid for them. And she was like, they were only like $5, but I got them at Ross and you'll probably never see them and find them again. She didn't say that. That's like my interpretation overlaid over what she said. Um, but the gist of it was that they, they didn't exist out there in the retail sphere anymore. And so they would be inaccessible. And then like one week later, she was just like in a Ross and found the things that I wanted for I guess like seven dollars and we did a little tea trade I got her some tea and she got me these so um I the only reason I really wanted to open them on here is because the packaging is so cool and I didn't want to open it and destroy it without sharing with you guys just can you just appreciate this rainbow holographic star with me for a moment I'm totally zoning out on it I don't know if you can tell that's like So it's called, I guess it's called Stardust Eyes Five Piece Sparkle Liquid Eyeshadows. And there's five colors in here. There's silver, green, blue, this kind of peachy pink, and this kind of mauve purple. And um, I wonder, man, if there's a way that I can like reuse, oh, maybe I'll reuse this star thing like as a stencil. I'm always trying to find reasons not to throw things away. And then I'm always wondering why my house is such a mess. But hey, I'm actually really working on it. Oh, by the way, so thank you guys for watching my room cleaning video because what that has meant is that <laughs> the video did so well that I was like, oh, let's make more cleaning videos. So I've been cleaning more of my house, which is, oh, which is really exciting. God, it's so, oh, oh, oh. So you're telling me the metallic part is actually just a flat piece of paper and I can totally reuse it in craft projects? Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted to know. Also, it's like a jail cell like this. Like, let me out. Hell, hell, you got baby, I can't hear a thing. Wait, what's the Lady Gaga music video that starts in the prison? Is it telephone? I feel like it is telephone. Okay, I'm sorry. I get so distracted. Also, we're doing this because I'm just gonna go play with it. I'm just gonna put some on. And we're working at Starbucks today, so we're gonna go green. Oh, okay, so the lids are like, there's like kind of matte black glitter, which like matte glitter feels like an oxymoron. Uh, but you know, it's a thing, it's here. It's on the lid of this eyeshadow thing, so we're gonna go with it. It seems to exist. I really need to like actually bring a mirror over if I'm gonna do these things. Oh well, but it's so metallic and that's all I wanted. And like, I don't know, am I gonna be able to finger blend this out maybe? I definitely have put zero thought into this. Also, if I'm being totally honest, I didn't even try Abigail's. I just liked them on her. Wow. Okay. That was fun. <laughs> and, oh wow, I'm actually, I'm surprised at like, how... at how mostly dry it is already. See, I can't do, this is why I can't do makeup videos is because I can't hold a train of thought and talk and do my makeup at the same time. You know what? I don't know if that like looks good, but I'm happy with it. I don't care. 
I think it does look good. I think it's just enough of a pop of color. I'm like a really lazy makeup person these days. I used to like, I don't know if you know this, back when I originally got it into my head that I was gonna try doing YouTube, obviously like every other girl, um, I was gonna do like a makeup channel or whatever. This was like back in, I started getting into YouTube back in, I guess high school, cause that was when I got internet in my house. And yeah, I didn't have internet in my house, by the way, guys, till like 2007, maybe 2006, 2007, 2008, somewhere in there. Um, so yeah, and I'm 25 right now in 2018, born in 1992. So I was like 15, 14, between 13 and 15 when I got internet in my house. Process that for a moment, guys. Um, and so when I first started getting into YouTube, I was like, I was watching like, Graveyard Girl and makeup tutorials. And um, that was like my introduction to makeup because my mother knew nothing about makeup like my mother asks me for makeup advice now so I did all these crazy makeup looks like I would do maybe I'll like splice some pictures in here or something because I did some crazy crazy makeup looks and I wore some crazy shit too and um, I don't take any of it back I don't I don't take back any of what I wore or said or did I stand by it all um, and maybe I might take back some things I said or did, but I don't take back anything of what I wore. It's too late now anyway. Maybe that alien one. But that was a really interesting social experiment. That was in college. Um, if I just spliced a picture of that over this video, consider yourself lucky. I don't talk about that very often. Um... Yeah, you know what? I gotta go to work. So I think that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for thinking of me and including me in your lives and for tuning in here and watching this video. Thank you so much, Terry, for your precious gifts and Anita for your precious gift of art. I am so grateful to be able to offer something to you that is of value where you feel called to include me in your heart and your day and your lives. Um, that just touches me and affirms, I feel like, everything that I'm trying to create here and everything that I'm doing here. And um, I really, 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 really appreciate that. And I just really appreciate all of you for for showing up with your whole selves here every time we get together. And um, with that, I think I'm gonna wish you guys a beautiful rest of your day and I'm gonna go off and work for the mellow scene and make people coffee and tea and frappuccinos and things. And um, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It's actually a little bit... Um, gray out it might rain today which would be nice i like rain and the roses like rain okay well if you did enjoy this video please do give it a like and hit that little subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed yet um also it turns out even if you are subscribed it won't put all my videos in your feed uh like in your subscriptions inbox thing unless you also hit that little alarm bell next to the subscription button and make sure that that's turned on with the little dingy sounds around it. Um, I don't know why YouTube doesn't want you to get my content unless you ask for it twice, but it's true. So if that's important to you, that's something that you might want to do. And uh, I'll see you around next time and I hope that you guys have a beautiful day.